Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel, Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting and tricky question from entrance examination. We have square root of square root of 36 minus square root of 20. And we need to simplify this. If you have your solution, your assumption, you can write your solution in the comments below and then we will check your answer. So a lot of students might be thinking, maybe we can subtract it. Square root of 36 minus square root of 20 equal to square root of 16. This is equal to four. And as a result, they write that the, the correct answer is four or two. So they go in a wrong, in a wrong way. So how can you solve this question correctly and step by step? First of all, square root of 36, this is our table case. This is equal to 6. So let's start with it. So we have square root of, square root of, square root of 36 equal to 6. So we have 6 minus this 20. How can we write it? Of course, there are a lot of ways how can we write this, uh, how can we express uh, 20. So I'm going to write this ways right here. So we have 20. How can we write this 20? As 2 times 10, this is the first way, of course. As 1 times 20, the second way. Of course, we can write it in a reverse way, 10 times 2, 20 times 1, but it it's doesn't matter right now in this case. And the third way is 4 times 5, yeah? We have 4 times 5. But which one is the best for us? 2 times 10, we can't uh, evaluate it, we can find a square root of 2 and 10, of 1 and 20, but square root of uh, 4 we can easily find. So let's use this expression. So 4 times 4 times 5 we're going to use in our solution. So minus square root of 4 times 5. So 4 times 4 times 4 times 5. Right now we need to remember and we need to learn about a really great square root property. So whenever you have expression with uh, this uh, product, square root of a times b, you can easily split it like square root of a times square root of b. And let's use this property um, right here in our case. So let's do this. So square root of 6 minus square root of 4 times square root of square root of 5. But Square root of 4 is equal to 2, yeah? So we can easily mm, write the square root of 4 as 2. So let's let's do this. So our next step, we have square root of 6 minus 2 square root of 2 square root of 5. And how could we simplify this? Because a lot of students like don't understand what we're gonna do next, what we need to what we need to evaluate it. it the main idea is to create a square inside this uh, square root sign. What I mean right now, for example, imagine you have and this is equal sign all the time. For example, imagine you have square root of 8 square. Everyone knows that we need to cancel this 2, this square, and as a result, we have only our 8. Everyone knows about that. But generally, if you have expression with the second power inside this square root sign, you can easily cancel it, but you need to put absolute value. So it simplifies us a lot. And the main idea is to create a square. So instead of this 6 minus 2 to this square uh, times square root of 5, we need to create a square. We need to create a, uh, we need to create a a formula. So what I mean right now, let's instead of this 6, let's write 5 plus 1. Let's do this. So instead of 6, we're going to write 5 plus 1. So we have 5 plus 1 minus 2 square root of 5. So we change nothing. We just write instead of the 6, we just write 5 plus 1. The next thing we're going to do, let's write this one on the third position, not on the second, but on the third position. Let's do this. So we have square root of, we have 5 minus 2 square root of 5 and plus and plus one. So what I mean right now, I try to create a formula. In our case, we have a, a subtraction and addition. So it looks like we can create a formula a minus b square. Okay, so we have a minus b to the to the second power. This is equal to a square minus two ab minus two ab and plus plus b b square. If you look closely, okay, we have two, we have square root of five, we have five, so somehow we can we can express it in a different way. So we have b, we have one. So let's try to create this. Let's try to create this formula. But how can we do this? We need to find a square, b square, two a b. In our case, we have square, we have five, we have square root of five. So let's write instead of this five, let's write square root of five. To the second power. So instead of this 5, we just write mm, square root of 5 to the second power because square root of 5 uh, to the second power equal to 5. So it changed nothing. Uh, let's write sub uh, minus. Right here we have 2 square root of 5. Let's write it like that 2 square root of 5. But on the third position, so we have 2 square root of 5. I just want to write times square root of 1. Okay, it changed nothing. We have only square root of one. It changed nothing equal to equal to one. So basically, we change nothing uh, at this moment right here. But plus, I'm gonna write instead of this one. I'm gonna write square root of one 
to the second to the second power. So each all it also changed nothing. We have square root of one equal to one. So it it's also changed nothing. But if we look closely right now from another perspective, from perspective of this formula, a square minus two a b plus b square. I just want to write it on the bottom once more. So we have a minus b square equal to a square minus two a b and plus b plus b square okay and if you look closely okay we have two really great we have a square square root of five square and we have a square root of five so we can easily write uh, instead of this a we can write square root of five yeah the next thing square root of one and square root of one square brilliant we have b equal to square root of one and b square equal to square root of one square so this is exactly uh, our case exactly the key that we really need because this is our a minus b square so as a result we can write it as square root of parentheses a minus b square a equal to square root of 5 square root of 5 minus square root of 1 but square root of 1 equal to 1 so we can have minus 1 to the to the second power and right now we have mm, the expression that we really really need because when you have expression to the second power you can cancel it with the square root sign you can easily cancel it but as a result you have uh, absolute value square root of 5 minus 1 square root of 5 minus 1 and square root of 5 minus 1 this is a positive expression because square root of 5 is greater than 1 okay square root of 5 is uh, greater than 1 and we need to put positive sign so basically we can actually get rid of this absolute value bracket so square root of 5 minus 1 and this is our answer we can simplify this more maybe sometimes you know um, approximately answer of square root of 5 of these uh, table cases because square root of 5 uh, is approximately equal to 2.23 uh, 2 sometimes yeah and as a result we can easily estimate our answer because 2.23 uh, minus 1 equal to 1.23 1. Point, uh, 1 this is our um, approximately answer it's not necessary but uh, you can easily estimate uh, your uh, our answer square root of 5 minus 1 we are only interested in square root of 5 uh, square root of 5 minus 1 so let's write our answer and after answer i'm gonna say a few really important tips few really important uh, tricks so our answer square root of square root of 36 minus square root of 12 equal to square root of 5 minus 1 or approximately equal sometimes you can uh, you could know mm, this uh, value square root of 5 but for example you have square root of 17 you can't estimate it like approximately yeah? so square root of 5 equal uh, minus 1 equal to 1.23 so this is our approximately answer if you're interested in this you can easily estimate it but if you're sitting on your exam this is your final uh, your final answer and few really important tricks to this question because a lot of students forget about this mm, absolute value and you know if you have an expression like that like square root of mm, square root of 3 minus square root of 2 to the second power sometimes you know you cancel it and you don't know about absolute value brackets and you write square root of 3 minus square root of 2 and this is a correct answer yeah without absolute value brackets but what is the correct way how can we write it on your exam you need to put absolute value brackets right here and you underline that square root of 3 is greater than square root of 2 so mm, the sign of this absolute value uh, expression is positive so plus square root of 3 uh, square root of 3 minus square root of 2 and as a result square root of 3 minus square root of 2 so absolutely the same thing but i'm going to underline i'm going to show you the second case for example imagine you have square root of square root of 2 minus square root of 3 to the to the second power you have something like that and a lot of students might be thinking we can easily cancel it and as a result they say okay we have square root of 2 minus square root of 3 and this is the wrong answer because we need to put absolute value brackets mm, as you can see right here this is like a possibility if you don't know about absolute value brackets you can can risk you can cancel it but in this case it is also great because you solved it correctly in this case you need to put absolute value brackets and then you need to estimate this expression square root of 2 minus square root of 3 of course Course, square root of 2 is less than square root of 3 so this expression is negative so we need to put minus square root of 2 minus square root of 3 which is equal to square root of 3 minus square root of 2 yeah so as you can see absolutely the same answer but in, in a different way yeah I really hope you understand it that we need to uh, put absolute value brackets and we need to estimate it we need to estimate it okay so this is my solution i really hope you understand i really hope you understand this question and i really hope you understand this uh, like two tips because you know this is not the absolute value it's not a popular thing it's not a popular um, brackets nowadays but you know when you have it you, you need to know a little bit about uh, this 
mm, this uh, this step this is extremely important uh, school tips so once more solution to this question we just need to split it we just need to expand it step by step and the final idea is to create a square because without a square inside it uh, we can't cancel it so it it's not like a simplification I'm not gonna say the, this is like simplification when you like expand it when you leave it like that this is not the final answer that we need but in the final answer we do have square root sign we have a great answer I would say yes square root of 5 minus 1 and we can't simplify this more because square root of 5 1 we can't express this in, in another way we can't expand it we can't simplify this more so thank you for your time wish all the best in life take care of yourself also write your thoughts write your respond in the comments below let's discuss a little bit about this type of question i really enjoy it and i really hope you enjoy it as well a great question with the great algebra tricks it's not uh, that hard uh, i want to say this is first trick this is the second trick to see this formula inside of it and it's it's also really great for everyone not only for math lovers for 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 people all over the world who love um, uh, the math in school it's a great thing to to practice uh, to test um, school knowledge okay so thank you thank you everyone for your time wish all the best in your life take care of yourself and also write your thoughts write your response in the comments below and see you in the next videos have a great day